in 720 and I'm back with another video and um today is my weekly podcast I ain't gonna let don't no monkey stop no show I went through a bunch of bullshit this week with a certain individual a certain youtuber a certain facebooker that was a part of you know my facebook group but like I said I'm a I kind of like I said I wasn't gonna do this shit anymore you know what I mean but I do realize <laughs> that it's you subscribers that make my channel even possible you know what I mean without you my channel is, is nothing like I said so I'm I can't stop being me like I said I'm not gonna let the one monkey Ruin, ruin it for everybody. So here, like I said, here's it is. Think it's boy next gen, and as I always say, bang, bang. Ah! Now I want you guys one by one. You know, state your name if you have a channel. Right, start with Phoenix. Yo, it's your boy Phoenix Rain here. What I do on my YouTube channels, I provide informative gameplay instead of the boring kind that you might see on some other channels. Plain and simple. That's what it is. All right. So who next? Don't get gunshot. Somebody. They said, boy, Chuck, man. Oh, well, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, what's up, people? Y'all know what this is, man. This is your boy, Brian, though. How you doing? Hey, it's your right. boy, Chuck. Oh, It's your boy, Chuck, man. I'm out here on this West Coast thing, you know, chilling with my boys out here, man. Everything is good. Let's do it. All right. Next. We got next. My name is... Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to go? No, no get no, you good. All right, my name is League of Winning. I'm a professional YouTube troll. Uh, um, my YouTube <laughs> channel is all about trolling. All right. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, all right. We got one more person in here. Yadi. Oh, no, I don't got no YouTube channel. I don't, I don't, I don't state your name, who you are, bro. You, you oh, know. Yadi Williams, you already know. All right, say no more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, with this podcast, we're going to try to make it about 35 minutes, 40 minutes. <laughs> You know, I just, <laughs> how, how you say, I just popped me an oxy and a dick pill and it's going down. I'm ready to make it happen. Hey, bro, uh, leak your channel, man. Huh? I'll talk to the professional troll. Leak your channel. Oh, I, I, just, I just put it in there. I'll put it in again. Okay. All, All right. right. Um, like I said, I, this, you know, this um, podcast is not scripted. Like I said, before last week, Pop, you, 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 you guys accused me of having a bunch of Xbox together. Like, I don't know who's going to join the podcast in what shape, form, or fashion. These people here are all part of my Facebook group, and I give everybody a chance to partake in the podcast if they choose to. All right, so I don't know. I don't even know what systems they like or they prefer. It doesn't matter. I don't care what you can be a Wii U player. It doesn't matter to me. I guess as long as you guys keep it next generation. Now, the first question I'm going to ask you guys, I'm going to go down the line, and I give my, I will go last, all right? And let me look at the Skype call. Let me bring my call, my group up. Look at the Skype call. I'm going to start with Peter Parker, okay? Uh, Peter Parker. Uh, yep. From what you know, from what you've seen so far from Nintendo, do you consider the Wii U as a a, a true next generation system? Seeing that what Microsoft and Sony both brought to uh, the table this E3, do you consider the Wii U a true next generation uh, console? No, I don't. I would say if next generation, let's just say you know it's 2.0, right? So current generation is 1.0. I would probably say the Wii U is somewhere around maybe a, a 1.3 or 1.4 next generation. I would say that because if this GPU does have characteristics that the CPU can do, doesn't have a lot of RAM, it, so if it's programmed correctly, it could probably outperform the PS3 and the Xbox 360 and look better. But we're probably not going to see a game like that and probably until 2014 or 2015. On the for something for Nintendo, but still won't look as good as Xbox One or the PS4. Okay, all right, all right. I can respect that. Um, uh, Chuck Sims, Sims, what do Chuck, my man, Chitty Chuck? Um, um, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you, uh, your thoughts on Nintendo? The way you consider it a true next generation console? Um, Yes and no. I think what they was trying to do with the whole game pad and all that, that, that actually enticed me when I first seen the trailer of the uh, the console. I was like, oh, this is different. Cool. Yeah. I was but, the same shit. Yeah, but once you like dig a little bit deeper, they really don't understand next gen. I think they still living in the past, and they still <laughs> trying to feed off of Mario and Zelda, and they're not pushing on new IPs, and Besides the gamepad, the console is really bare. It doesn't really do anything. They don't have any um, features on the console. The online is terrible. And the 360 and the um, PS3 is still outperforming it and outselling it. 
So I don't really consider the Wii U a next generation console. I really was hoping for the best of them, but no third party support. No, I mean it's just it's just going downhill for them, man. They are gonna have trouble once these next generation, these true next generation consoles come out. Cause it's, it's gonna they gonna have problems. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, I just had a new person just joined the podcast. Uh, my man Matt Williams. Um, I'm gonna ask you this question, Matt. You just joined the call. I'm gonna ask right. you your honest opinion. Uh, do you consider the Nintendo's Wii U a true next generation console compared to what Microsoft and Sony both showed at E3 and what those systems can do? Not only what stores power, but even like features, you know, different ways that you can connect and interact with, you know, the community. Do you consider the Wii U a, you know, a true next generation console? Hmm. I mean, let me just think. Uh, the definitive version of the internet browser, that's one. <laughs> All right. And... They ain't show nothing, man. Like, no game has come out to show, like, the full power of the whole thing. Like, I'm, I'm still waiting, you know? Like, I traded my Wii U, like, what, five, six months ago? And I'm still waiting to see, like, what's going to get me back in the Wii U. Okay. They keep pumping out Mario every day. <laughs> they, no, they might as well. Okay. All right. <laughs> Mario the castle. The castle. <laughs> okay. And in terms of features... This console is like way back in '99. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not even giving it the 2000s right now. Okay. It's like way back. <laughs> no, it's the 2000s. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. I can respect that. All right. Um, Yachty Williams. Yachty. Uh, damn, I'm saying everybody last name. Yachty, my man. Yachty. What's your thoughts? Do you consider the Wii U a true next generation console compared to what both Microsoft and Sony showed in E3 and even? Not even so much power, or just with different features of what the console could do. Do you consider that a true next generation console? Hey, man, my view kind of skewed because I don't own one. But I well, well, like you don't have to own one just for what you've seen. You yeah, know. what I see. Yeah, exactly. From what I see. Yeah. This gen console because they just it's pretty much a Wii with HD added. Okay. All right. The Wii was pretty much already. It was just a decent system for like little kids. My my little cousins play that shit, man. All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. Uh, who else I didn't get to it? Uh, my man John Doe, my brother John Doe. Do you What's consider up, the Wii U a true next generation console compared to what Microsoft and Sony showed at E3? And not just I'm not just talking about graphics and power. I'm talking about even with features or what else the system can do. Do you consider it a, a, a next generation console? Oh. Um. Now, I did, I was impressed by what they did with Bayonetta, you know what I'm saying? They got that running at 60 frames per second with good graphics, you know what I'm saying? So, I can't really see the thing about it. I think it's really too early to judge to see whether it's a next-gen console because we uh-huh. haven't seen the games that can show us if we can get to the next-gen. Uh, okay, not, not to catch you off, well, I just want to play the protagonist here. You said it's early. This, this system has had... Three E3 appearances. It showed at E3 2011. <laughs> E3 2011. Oh, 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 check it out. God damn. Uh, listen, 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 listen. Oh, listen, listen, listen. It showed at E3 2011, E3 2012, and E3 2013. Damn. Three E3 appearances. See, see, see. Hold, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm, I'm going to let you finish. I just want to put you, you know, I, you know, but I, I, I'm i sorry. I'll let you, I'm sorry. I should yeah, be cut you off. I'll let you, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Then I, you know, then I, you know, yeah, I'm sorry. Speak. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's cool, no, but it, I feel it just go back to what I've been saying for a while now. You know, it's not, I don't think that it's not a next gen or this gen or whatever gen it may be. I just feel like they have rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Peter Moore said it best, man, when he said it's an off, offline console in an in a online world. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because. <laughs> They so busy pushing the offline content, they ain't pushing multiplayer. Like, nothing about that system say I can get on there and play with my buddies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All the games they pushing is I, I get on there and, and, and play solo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing by myself. All, all the IPs, you know, and that's not the way games are headed next gen. So if you want to put it next gen that way, you know, I don't feel it's a next gen console, but I think they will be able to push the limits, you know what I'm saying? With the graphics and um, actual frames per second, you know what I'm saying? If you want to put it like that. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a dead console. And they're going to have to release another console sooner than they want to. Okay. All right. Uh, now, hold up. Um, um, okay. Hold up. Now, I'm glad you said that. 
Uh, all right, hold on. All right. Now, I'm going to say this. Hold on. I'll say this. Hold on. I'm logging into um, the welcome to... I'm, I'm logging into Meverse right now on my iMac. Um, okay. Now, before I go, did everyone answer this question? Nah. Okay. Who's that? I'm sorry. I missed one person. I'm sorry. Uh, Phoenix, right? All right, Phoenix. Oh, um, can I just say, I didn't show what uh, John... Um, uh, Duff said, or whatever. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, John, no, John, no. Yeah, okay. okay. I think Microsoft, I mean, I'm sorry, Nintendo, I think they're going to pull an Xbox original where they're going to let the Wii run for four years. They know it's dead already. Okay. And they're already preparing. Okay, it. hold that thought. I'm going to come back to that. That's good. I'm going to ask my sex. Hold that thought, okay? I'm going to come back to that. Um, oh, Phoenix, I'm glad you, that's what, what my, my second round of question. Uh, Phoenix. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, your thoughts? Yeah. Do you consider the Wii U a next, a true next generation console, and um, you know, and it's you know, it's a true next being a, not just power or like features of what you consider, you consider the next generation console. Seeing what Sony and Microsoft showed. I don't really own a Wii or okay. any Nintendo system, but you know, I can take an old ass game that been on 360 and PS3 for years, like okay. uh. Elder Scrolls, for example. Okay. You can take that game, play it, and say it has fucking graphics that rivals the current gen games, like uh, Skyrim, for example, or Dark Souls, whatever the case may be, and take a current Wii game, put it in, and I'll be like, yo, why in the hell am I playing a glorified Game Boy on my 32 inch TV or some okay. shit like All that? Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too technical with it. I just speak. So you don't, so you don't, you, yo, you don't consider it a, a true next generation console. Hell no, the Wii okay. sucks. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Look, man, listen, like I said, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I don't know any of people here personal preference. This is not, you know, I mean, I don't know whether you like it to know. Like I said, I, I just open the cast. Anybody can join. All I ask you to be part of my Facebook group. And, you know, it's a way for me to get back to my subscribers. And, you know, even if you have a channel bigger than mine or smaller than mine, to get your channel out there, okay? So, like, this is not rigged, okay? I'm going to let you guys know. I'm looking for Nintendo fans. Or I don't care what system you like, you know what I mean? Okay, my here's my question. Okay, now here's my, Do I consider the Wii U a true next generation console compared to what Microsoft and Sony show? You know what I mean? Now, if you guys know you've been following my... I haven't been on YouTube long, but you guys know... I've done videos, me going out to Bobby Wii U all in line, you know, I did all that stuff. Like I said, I didn't look, I didn't come into buying the system as the, as the glass being half empty, you know what I mean? I fell into the hype of Nintendo saying that their console would not be overpowered, would not be left behind. This would be the place to get all your, you know, battlefields and all of them. But see this before, I don't really care for Nintendo first party games. Like, I don't care about Mario, um, I don't play those Star Fox, uh, fucking... F Zero, you know, I don't like those type of games. You know what I mean? But I, yeah, like I said, I bought that system because I think there was other than probably get some like some third party support or something like that that may not come to the other next generation system besides like Bayonetta Two. Okay, let me say that. Okay, so like I said, I had a high hopes for this system. Okay, but when you buy a next generation console, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, and I do realize that as you buy games, at, at, like I said, at the beginning of a console's life form, life life cycle. I'm sorry. The games don't look as great. They do look better as time goes on, as developers get time to, I'm well, sorry, not get time, learn how to use the hardware in the system. I do realize. If you take the games that came out at the Xbox and the PlayStation 3 launch, compared to now, you got games like The Last of Us, shit is like night and day. I get that. The Last of Us type train. Yeah, yeah, this is, but check it out though. But even when I bought the Xbox 360 at launch, you know what I mean? I didn't have their their games were even I could see you had games like DOA four. It looked I know that that game right there could not be done on previous gen on, on the original Xbox or the PlayStation two. I saw the graphics. Now I mean not to say just make a graphics hole, but who the who one of my but, yeah, listen, games. you know what I mean who was oh, like and I said yeah. I like, like when people kill me with this and say, you know what's not all about graphics and about gameplay, but that's like saying like well, you know, who fuck with an ugly bitch? It doesn't count beauty's only skin deep, nah, like, that's bullshit. You know what I mean? If you can have, you can if you can have, put no eight bit game. Yeah, you know what I mean. Let's yeah, check it out. Check it out. I fuck with that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Hell but you, you know, but like I said, no, I don't consider the Wii U a true next generation console. You know what I mean? But I'm just being real. The Wii U is having trouble running 
this generation games. Now, Dr. Trey did a video the other day talking about Unreal Engine 4 and all that shit, you know. And when those games do come out, like games like Daylight 4, they won't be... How do you want to have a next generation console that really can't run any next generation engines? I'm just being real, you know what I mean? The Wii U, like, come on. The Wii U can't do basic shit. Shut up. The Wii U can't do basic shit that I was doing during Session in Progress. Basic shit I was doing back in 2002 on original Xbox. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Saying? I think the Wii U is basically the bastard stepchild that nobody wants nah, to No, uh, bro, with, so man. what I did, and nah. if you guys don't know, I took my Wii U into GameStop, and I got rid of it. I, I waited to E3, and see, maybe, maybe they're going to come out with some games. These motherfuckers showed me Mario and a cat suit. <laughs> they showed me, and they talking about a franchise being milk. How many fucking times, like, come on. Like, you know, they say, oh, Retro Studios got this game coming out for another Donkey Kong game. Like, they were talking about Nintendo's innovation. Like, how many times are we going to play Mario and fucking Donkey Kong? We get tired of this shit. Same old bitch. Oh, you know? know. Yeah, yeah, you know, but like I said, so far as me, I, I, I'm, I'm done with Nintendo. I'm not buying any more of their consoles until they get ready. Like, come on, they didn't even come to, bro, they didn't, they didn't even have the galls and the balls to come to E3. Because they know they didn't have anything to fucking they show. They weren't even on the show. bank stage, yeah. which is funny, though. Yeah, you know, so, they had their so, own shit going on. So to on. answer my own question, no, the Wii U is not a true... Man, I guess, in, you know, it's not a true next-generation console. It cannot compare. They lied to me when he said their system would not be left behind and won't be overpowered. Now, those are not my words, Trey Rose, or Shokia words. That is words out of fucking, you know, raging them out. They said their system would be overpowered. I am watching. They said their system would not be left behind. They lied to me, man. So, you know, so answer my own question. No, the Wii U is not a next-generation console. Now, yep. on to yep. my second question. All right? On to my second question, all right? Um... So, being that, like I said, we've seen what Microsoft and Sony had to show. Do you think the Wii U is going to, will we see another Wii U within the two to three years, being that it can't, you know, can't compete, and that, you know what I mean, it can't really get in these next generation games because they really can't run on their, run on their platform without, you know, sacrificing, you know, the true specs of the system. Like they said, you know, like Mark Rain said, you know, the, the the Unreal Engine 4 is not made for the Wii U mind. He said, yes, it can run it, but it has to be scaled all the way down. You know what I mean? So if you have to scale it all the way down, you might as well use Unreal Engine 3. Now, don't get me wrong. Consoles, both the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, they cannot run the, the Unreal Engine 3 in its entirety. It is also scaled down, but it's still, it's still you know what I mean, that they still, both the Xbox, I'm sorry, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 will be able to use some of those Unreal Engine 4 features. And the Wii U cannot use it, okay? So... I'm asking you this, Matt. Do you think the Wii U is going to stick around for the next six or seven years? Or do you think Nintendo's well, going, going to come out with a new console? Well, in my case, right, like, I heard a lot of was saying, right, you guys know how long it takes to make, like, this-gen games, right? Like, two yeah. years, you know, they come out every two years, right? Yeah. This, you know, a lot of said that they did not expect that, you know... HD games be this hard to make. I mean, like, people who don't play games know how long it is. Yeah. I mean, you can judge it, you know, like, see how long Uncharted takes to come out one, two, three years, yeah. or Halo, you know. But you know what, so uh, forth, uh, but, uh, but you know what, Matt? That's not really an excuse for Nintendo because that's the only thing that company makes is video games. That's their bread and butter. That, that's that's what, what they have to keep the, la the lights on. So at least Microsoft and Sony, Sony has other departments, does other things, and Microsoft does also. They're big companies. Only thing Nintendo does is make video games. You know what I mean? They talk yeah, about they, they don't know about shaders and all. They, like, like, like Nintendo has lost their way. But I'll let you finish, man. So, so you, what you saying? You don't, you don't think the Wii U will be like, will last five or six years on the market? Like, honestly, I don't know what Nintendo has to do to turn this around because when I saw the Wii U came out, I was like, yeah, you know, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be great. But then something hit me. When you release a console near to next gen consoles, you tend to get riled by the fact that, you know, you're gonna get lead by the competition, you know, like you have to think like what they're really putting in their console now, you know, because they're making next gen. You know? And for the Wii case, like that system is gonna die in like about and I ain't even giving it five. I'm giving it like three. Like it's just gonna be sprinkled. Because they keep saying like Please understand. We're sorry. Please understand. You know, <laughs> honestly, I was the owner of the Wii U. There were nothing to buy on that console. I just feel a slap of water in the face. Like, okay. Dude. All right. So, all right. I can respect that. John Doe, do you think the Wii U will be around another five or six years to, to compete with the PlayStation 4 
any Xbox One? I'm on record of saying no. Oh. I do not. I already feel it's a dead console. Unless some Mer- they pull some America out their ass or something hey, bro, within they, the next year or two. Hey, I don't the, see it. They hard. Mario and a cat. Okay, yeah, but none I, of their games hey, come but, out but, until next year. But it's not even so much of those games. Like, how many times do you play Mario Kart? Let me say this. Let me say. Let me, let me, let me say. Listen. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. They, I understand that Mario Kart sold 25 million units on the Wii. Get that out, okay? And it may have sold systems for the Wii, but Mario Kart didn't sell systems for the GameCube. Super Smash Brothers didn't sell systems for the GameCube. You know what I mean? So I think Nintendo fans are are saying they trying to compare the Wii U to the Wii. The Wii was a must-have ad- item. It was a fad. It was non-gamers bought it. You know what I mean? It was a cat. I bought one for my grandmother. Got one for a church. They played through that cheap, bingo. Too. The I Wii. Smash Bros. Now. Yeah, I'm just saying the Wii U was not the Wii. It's not a must-have item. They thought that that whole time. GameCube tab- is better than. Yo, hell yeah, by far. That's but GameCube was better than the Wii. But they thought that <laughs> they thought that 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 tablet controller, because everything is tablet crazy. They thought that would be the selling point, and the system would take off, and it didn't. And it didn't happen. They sacrificed yeah, the controller. Check it out. They sacrificed. And fucking hit somebody yeah, in the well, check it out. They shit. sacrificed the specs of their console to include a tablet controller. You know, the tablet controller costs more than manufactured than a goddamn system. Yeah, that's, that's, that's real talk right there. You know what I mean? So my man John Doe has one of the record to say no. Hey Chuck, what about you? Do you think we you'll be around for the next five or six years? Nah, I just think um, just the fact that their third party support is so bad. Um, I think that's gonna hurt them more than anything. Because um, like I said, I I don't I don't want to play Mario. I, I want to play Madden. I want to play 2K. You know, you, you buy a, a console for um, the exclusive, but you also want to play the multiplayer. And they have no multiplayer. It's just it's all. It's just. They just forcing Nintendo stuff down your throat. And you have really no option. Because nobody wants to make anything for the system. So at the end of the day, I think it's going to. I give it about a couple of years or so. If they can't do nothing about the third party support, they're going to die in three years. Guaranteed. It's just. It's just you know, because. I mean, nobody wants to keep playing Donkey Kong, and it's just the same thing over and over again with them, man. And they they get on stage and try to like make it seem like it's revolutionary, and, and this is the same game, man. Like like the Mario game that came out for the Wii U is the same one that came out for the Wii. It's the same game okay. with minor adjustments, you know. And, okay, I can dig that. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I think three years if they don't get no third party support, they're done. All right. Oh. Uh- Okay, I got a little my baby back there crying. Please get to it. Uh, Peter Parker, your thoughts? I think the Wii U will be dead within about three years. They're going to do what they did with Microsoft and uh, Xbox original. And I think the Wii U will end up somewhat for the older gamers who uh, maybe remember if they were little kids how the triple graphics, the duo system, you can only get it at EB Games. So... That's what I think is going to happen with the Wii U. Okay. It will be at selected stores, and a lot of stores are already going to, getting ready to pull it. Okay. Uh, Yachty, my man, your thoughts? Man, I don't think the Wii U is going anywhere just because there's so many casuals that love it. Like, like look, I guess it's probably the nostalgia, just like the dude from me just said. Everybody loves from the past. So I, mean, I used to love Mario when I was young, but then I just grew up, and I don't know, it just never went back. But there's a lot of people and a lot of chicks like the Wii. Like, look, well, the Wii, listen, hold on, Yachty. The Wii is not the Wii U. The Wii is not the Wii U. Hey, Yachty, the Wii is not the Wii U. The Wii U ain't selling. There ain't too much nostalgia. They ain't selling no one. Hey. Man, I swear, I just I just don't see people just going to turn their back on Mario. Everybody, there's too many people who just was too much right? obsessed with it back in the day. Well, they're going to have to get a price drop of $100 at least. No, that's true. They might have a, they might have a price drop. All right. Yeah, if we do that, they'd be cool. All right. Hey, uh, so did uh, hey, 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 Phoenix, William, did Phoenix, did you go? What'd you say? Did, if I was Phoenix, hey, Phoenix, did you go? Nah. Okay, your thoughts. Would it be around? Uh, hell no, nah, man. <laughs> it's just like they not appealing to the hardcore gamers. And like it's been said before in the podcast, you know what I'm saying? It's only appealing to the casual gamers and me being a hardcore gamer 
I'm not going to sit there and play a goddamn Italian plumber that look Puerto Rican jumping around on fucking turtles 24 damn 7. Fuck okay. that. Okay, okay. I would rather walk in the highway traffic than okay. play that shit. To okay. be honest, how much replay value can Spam and Mario have? You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right. I don't well, really worry about that. Well, it's, it's less hard. It's less Hard for the casual. Okay, but listen. Okay, I, I respect that. Yeah, see, see, but most of the casual fans, you know, when you got ninety nine dollar systems like the Ouya, you know, um, on, in a way that, in a way that, Ooh, cell, for, hold on, in a way that cell phone game is you, the casual fan, to play a game on the cell phone before they go out and buy a system. Okay. If you want to be honest. Right. Dude, they'll, they'll play a game on the tablet. Okay. Man, they'll be fine with Candy tablet. Crush. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, so everybody, when everybody, hey Chuck, did you go Chuck? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All go right, on. here's my thoughts. Me, no, I don't think the Wii U will be on long for the way that it's going now. The system is barely selling fifty thousand units a month. It had a month when the system only sold twenty four thousand pieces of software. Now, I think as long as maybe and it may have a chance of sticking around as long as developers are still making games for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, then maybe it may stand a chance of getting receiving some third party support. You know what I mean? But the attach rate for the system is so goddamn low that, you know, you got games like Assassin's Creed 3, they only sold, barely sold 100,000 units worldwide. You got games like NBA 2K13 that sold 9,000 units worldwide. You know what I mean? So your console really, honestly, is not nothing without third party support. You think about exclusives are far, few and far in between. Look how long it's taking it to make put out one exclusive. You know what I mean? I'm just being, so my opinion, I don't think the Wii U is going to be around much longer um, because. You know, they, they shot, they load, you know what I mean? They had their chance to win over the market, you know what I mean? And they, they like I said, they sacrificed the specs of this system to, you know, come on, you put a, a console with an 8 gig hard drive. They made a console to compete with, <laughs> check it out, they made a console to compete with the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. They did not make the Wii U to compete with the PS4 and the Xbox One. So when you do things like that, I don't, like I said, I don't know who's making the decisions they're at Nintendo, but you know who they need to lose their fucking job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how you come out with a? a check it out. The Wii U. And, listen. The Wii U. <laughs> check it out. The Wii U is se- gigs of memory. Check it out. The Wii U is seven years late to the HD party. I'm just being real. <laughs> you know, um, had had the Wii U came out two and a half years ago, three years ago, fine. But you put out the system in 2012 to to be at least on the market for the next five to six years. That's bananas. We are, are the, the Xbox 360 came out in 2005. The PlayStation 3 came out in 2006, and you put out a console that's barely more powerful than those. And not saying that you know you gotta have the most powerful system to win a console. If that's the case, the PlayStation 2 wasn't the one. You know what I mean? It's not so much about power, but what the PlayStation 2 had were games. It had Dang. strong third-party support, and the Wii U doesn't have any of that. You know what I mean? And the game that it did it did get it was able to run properly, you know what I mean? So my answer to that question is no, the Wii would not be I have to be here. I said I'll give it two more years if that the way that it's going. I'm gonna break I say two more years. Big internet browser experience. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Did you hear that newest interviews though? Okay, now check it out. I'm I'm gonna flip it here. I'm gonna flip it here, okay? Here's the next question, okay? So we've done with the Wii U. We done shot that shit with a shotgun. So I'll be looking I'll be, I'll be looking for Dr. Trey. Let me just say something last, right? All right. Even if the Xbox One had all those beyond BRM features stuck to it, it would still be the Wii U. Oh yeah, no, by far. I'm going to mention that. You know, what I mean, I think. But I, I say this. I think even though, like I said, the whole Microsoft thing, they had a bad way of explaining it. You know, what I mean, or what the, the benefits of having DRM could do. Maybe they left both models in place and say if you went to DR, you, you get games cheaper. You know, X, Y, and Z. I just think, I don't think they explained it right. You know, but my thing, I really think the Xbox One is going to take off once gamers get that motherfucker inside their house and their homes and get yes, to see sir. all the cool shit you can do with it. You know what I mean? Then you know what I mean. Like the even fact that what we doing right now, skyping, that I can be skyping right now, seeing all you guys, seeing you in the corner of my TV while I'm playing my game. That's that's gonna really gonna bring the community together. But that's another story in its entirety. You know what I mean? That's next gen. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. That's another. You know, you know, you're right. It's a next gen feature. You know what I mean? And you look at right now. Look, not for nothing. Look at what they're doing. Look at the look at the, the popular killer instincts picking up. All that evil. The goddamn. That's a demo they're playing, and everybody's going crazy about this shit. You know. That what game mean? look cold, man. It looks it's awesome. Like you know what I mean? You know. But when like they showed it at E3, man, they. 
That was it. Was not even finished though. Every oh, don't get me wrong. Listen, you gotta you gotta realize, like I said, you know, bro, that you know, you know, that like I said, they, they just put a little something together. I seen behind the scenes, now, and I'm trying to get on top of the podcast. I'll, I'll give a link that you can see them at uh, at IGN had that's our not game trailer. Have them making that game. Yo, the physics in that game when Jergo throws that goddamn whole unit, and you see the the, the fire pieces of the spectacles all in the fucking you know all in the screen. That's a beautiful fucking game, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. oh, oh, we getting off top. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. We only got much time. <laughs> all right, now listen. The next question. All right, now, mm-hmm. now I'm gonna play the role. I'm gonna play the, like to say the role of the protagonist here. Check it out. Now, looking at the PlayStation 4 and, the, and their launch lineup of games, and the Xbox One and their long launch of games. So I need non-biased answers here, okay? <laughs> Who do you think has a better launch library of games, the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One? Start with Matt first. Hey, right. there, hey, hey, there. Yo. Can you list the games first? Because I only, I don't think, I only think I know a few. Okay. All right. All right. I'll give you a list of the Xbox One games. Okay. Write them yeah. down. You got Rise, Killer yeah. Instinct, yeah. Um, Rise, Forza Five, Dead Rising, I believe Crimson Dragon. Um, EA has that. Um, I'm not mistaken, it's a launch game. Also, EA. Oh, another one, Local Cycle. Titan. So Titan falls on the launch. That comes out in April. What about Operation Spark? Don't it? That is the yeah, op- op- Operation Spark. I was just yeah, but I'm just talking about retail game. That's like a you know, I mean, but okay, Operation Spark. I'll give you that. Uh, the PlayStation Four has exclusives. We're talking about exclusive. The PlayStation Four has uh, Net, Five Club, and Killzone. You know, we not Warframe is not exclusive. They want to get Warframe is on. I can play Warframe right now. Uh, Planet Side Two, I can play right now. Um, you know, I'm so so. You know, as far as exclusive, Sony has Net, Drive Club, and Killzone, and the Xbox has Forza. Yeah, I know. Rise, Dead Rising Three, Killer Instinct, which is my favorite. Killer Instinct, uh, Jesus. Killer Instinct and I believe Crimson Dragon. All right. So along with you, Matt, who do you think has a better launch library of games? Launch launch library. I'm a, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I think Xbox have the best lineup, and not only because they showed the most games at E3, is that like Sony shot themselves in the foot yet again by saying they're gonna they're, they're gonna announce 40 games, 40 exclusive games, and they're gonna be 20 exclusives coming in the launch year or whatever, and you haven't shown anything to, you know, captivate me to go live. But they, you know, they were talking about, not because they were talking about a lot of indie games, they weren't talking about 40 games. Yeah, like, they, they know oh, some big games, but they are talking about 2014. Oh, okay, yeah. but hold on, I'm just saying, they were talking, like I said, they, you know, they were talking about, uh, not to cut anybody off, they were talking about, they were including indie games, like, you know, the $10 games we can go buy, they weren't oh, talking wow. about twenty exclusive. You go in the store, sixty-five dollars. You know, but um, I'm sorry, I'll let you finish, bro. Nah, so, I mean, I I ain't saying it to knock down any developers or anything like that, but I'm a, I'm a agree with Xbox. Like, fuck those indie games, man. Some of those games are shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, nah, man. Like, bad con- control schemes, yeah. um, freaking graphical errors, and uh, yeah. all that bullshit. You, you know like, what? Yo, you know- I agree. Yo, you know what? I'm gonna say this. I'm sorry. I'm getting off topic, but I'm, a lot of people say it's not that Microsoft was so controlled. They wanted these some of these indie games to have a publisher because you have they do put out a lot of half-assed skin games with broken yeah. control schemes and the games crash. And if you do have a, a publisher like Ubisoft or whatever the case may be, um, they can you know make sure the project is properly finalized before they put it on the marketplace. And Microsoft will have to do with the public outlets if the game crashing 35 times or you get to a certain level and, you know, that's what that's about. That's why Microsoft, one of these indie games, indie people to have a, you know, a publisher whatever, before they put their, their games on their marketplace. And for the record, Microsoft embraced indie development thing first. You know, Microsoft yeah. had the Xbox Live Arcade first before, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's the reason why they wanted to have a publisher. And, uh, and if I'm not mistaken, they're coming up with, uh, with a solution in that, that my, uh, Xbox One Studios or something like that where they can, they will publish the games for them, and, and you know, and they won't, you know, for a smaller developer, it won't hurt their pockets. Okay, so you're saying the Xbox One has a better launch library of games? Is this your, that's your yeah. answer? Okay, but, okay. Like, 
okay, let me just explain like what I mean because you know, for some of these dudes who are watching the podcast, they're just gonna think I'm just hating on it. Okay. I, like, okay, PS4 showed a game, one of their like, you know, next gen indie games, and it's just fucking pixels moving around on a screen. Like, you know, this little wizard thing. I mean, you guys saw it. Like, I was like, what the fuck is that? You know, this little pixel thing moving across the screen. It, it was it was crazy, you know? And the next thing, they put Drive Club for next gen when they just should have flip it around and put Gran Turismo 6 as a next gen game. Because okay. that was next gen. Okay, all right. You know, all right, all right. And the whole Killer Instinct hate me thing. You, I mean, it's a fighter, you know? You have to jump, kick, punch, and do combos. It's a fighter. Like, the people who say, oh, it looks like Street Fighter. It's a fighter. Think about it, you know? Hell no, nah, that's the dumbest thing somebody can ever okay, say okay. that a fighting game like, can be. Okay, yeah, okay, like all different right. fighting games employ different strategies. Okay, all right, all right, okay, okay, all right, all right, hold up, all right, hold up, not to go, well, okay. All right, finish, let you talking. Uh, out of the launch games, I know, I'm on GameStop right now. And um, let me show sure I was right. The PlayStation 4 has, even even if it's Second Sunday, I wish it was. It's not a launch title. Uh, they have Drive Club, Net, and Killzone. Who do you think has a better launch line of library games? Xbox. Uh, no, but no, we asked the so We don't. I don't want to uh, ask his opinion. All right. Uh, I, I think you know me. I'm I'm a Sony guy. You know what I'm saying? But judging by what I see, oh, with right. an unbiased opinion i think that xbox has a better uh l better launch title lineup just because of the way they presented it at e3 okay oh so you just simply by, put it oh so you, all right so, but just because their presentation you don't think the games are you know better quality yeah, again, just because of this presentation that they gave that the titles that's going to come out uh, okay. i think xbox has a better launch title okay all right. all right all right that's coming from me being a sony guy you know okay what I'm all right all right, uh, my man, Peter Parker, your thoughts. Who has a better launch library of games? I would say overall, I would say Xbox One does, but I am interested in that PS4 game. I can't remember the name of it, but it was it was in a wagon with some... Oh, they had, this, 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 you talking about Knack? Yeah, they were like monsters or something like Sherlock yeah. Holmes and... Oh, you know, you're talking about The Order, The Order. That, that, that game, oh, that, yeah, The Order is not a launch title. That comes out next year. Uh, 2014, and it said yeah. here it sells 12. It's on GameStop's website. It says 12, 31, 2014. So, uh, and, you know, so that game is, is definitely <laughs> coming. Maybe not 12:30, but it's definitely coming out in 2014. Uh, so you say, so you're saying that the Xbox has a better launch library of games? Yeah, okay. but I would, I would also say this. I don't think. I think a lot of people are also going to be looking at third party before they. Well, they both they both they both have the same they, they they both have the same all you know the same list, list of third party games. That's why I said the first part is exclusive because they all are getting kills up, so they all are getting Destiny. They both are getting Watch Dogs, Battlefield, Assassin's Creed. They all are getting those third party games. You know, day one, day for day. That's why. Yeah, it's exclusive. I, I, I understand it, but I'm just saying. I think people when they look at it, they're gonna look at the third parties. They're going to look at the first-party games, and then they're going to look at the $100 difference between okay. oh. the Xbox and the PS4. All right, all right, all right. That's his thoughts. Especially uh, if there's some parents buying it for their kids. Okay, we're going to get to that. <laughs> hey, hey, Chuck Symes, my man Chickity Chuck, who do you think has a better launch library game, the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Xbox just because they have more games coming out all right. at launch than... Um, and PlayStation, like I said before, Killzone, I'm not really into. Uh, Knack, I mean, I, it's not my type of game. It might be good for people, but this is not what I'm into. Okay, I can And, and uh, that. Drive Club, to me, um, it, it looked cool, but like I said, I like the crew better. I think the crew has a better kind of idea going than Drive, Drive Club. This looks like a regular race car game to me and plus you get that free with playstation plus so you know okay not a problem. i mean I, I don't really own well you know you go with xbox you got rise, rise to me it's like a real life god of war basically okay. you know it's like it has more realism in it even though god of war is my favorite game last gen, oh this gen 
currently God of War 3 is the best game I'm I've played. I'm a big guy. I have it in my hand right now. I got all of them. Uh, I, 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 I love God of War, man. It's yeah, just, I own all you know of them. So, go wild, uh, man. You don't own all of them. You don't have the one for the old cell phone, you know, that little piece of shit. Man, fuck that. All right, go to the next one. All right, so we got uh, a Yachty. A Yachty. Oh, sorry. And also, um, this killer, killer instinct to me, man, is like just seeing that game and how it's evolved and whatever. It makes me really, I really cannot wait to play that. I'm not going to be as good as some dudes playing that Evo. We also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, they okay. did. Yeah. All right, all right. So I'm going to go with the Xbox. All right. Um, boom. Yachty. Your, did I ask you already, Yachty? Oh. Yeah, who do you think have a better launch line, right? Nine, nine times out of ten is gonna be Xbox unless they don't get good support from third party. Like you know, <laughs> this year, so this year Xbox 360, you know how the game was made for Xbox and ported, so they was kind of fucked up on PS3. No, like, no, 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 no. Hold on, we, we, uh, no, I, I, I'm not talking about third party. I mean, they but listen. I'm gonna say this: they're both getting day to day the same third party. No, so, I know, but I'm saying like I'm this talking year. Who has exclusives? Who has the better exclusives come launch? Is what I'm saying. Let me reframe. Oh that. yeah. Xbox, easy. All right, all right. John Doe, my brother, you're putting me ask you. Um, you already know I feel the Xbox got the better exclusive. You know, dude, they they releasing games that nobody, PlayStation releasing games that nobody care about. How many people even care about? Uh, what that is? Killzone. Killzone. Nobody cares about Killzone. You know what I'm saying? They're making a big argument about it, but hell. Killzone three is trash. Yeah, nobody cared about kills on on this gym. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a PS3. Right. Call of Duty didn't exist. Right. Yeah. Everybody would be playing kills on. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah, so, but yeah. no, nah, man, I just, I just feel like Microsoft showed and proved they they kept their word and did what they said they was gonna do in um, E3, E3 when okay. they came to down the game. You know what I'm saying? All right. They you got my why, mouth watering. Huh? You, you know why kills on exists? Because Halo. Yeah, it was just a get over answer to Microsoft. Okay, uh, okay. Like, we're making this piece of shit. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. All right. Okay. Now. All right. So I got everybody's answer. All right. Now here's my answer. Now I know right off the back you say that I'm biased, and you know, and I'm gonna show you guys, ladies and gentlemen, something here. Um, you guys can't see me. I got the camera up on the uh, movie maker. Hold on. I want to show you. Show, you, show this receipt, okay? Um. Maybe, maybe you guys can see it. All right. I'm not a fanboy. All right, fanboys, like I said, I told people, console wars for broke motherfuckers that can only afford one system, okay? You guys see this, right? this real talk, you know? I said some shit like that. You guys can like, see uh, I got it, I got it here, that my PlayStation 4 and my Xbox One, they're both paid for. I got two orange texts, but they're paid for, okay? Um, so, like I said, I don't, like, like I said, I'm, I, I'm buying the PlayStation 4. The only game I have for my PlayStation 4 right now is... 2K14. I like Drive Club. They're gonna give me free with, I guess, with the PlayStation Plus, which I want to get. And um, I've never been a Killzone fan. I never, I, I've, I got, I got it from my PlayStation 3. I have it. Actually, my son has it. My, my copy. Like I said, Killzone to me, it, it, you know, pretty graphic wise, it's a pretty looking game. But the, the gameplay, the fun factor, to me, Halo has always been much better. You know, than that. Like I said, you know, they got all they have is Knack, Drive Club, and Kill Zone. Now, like I said, you can't, if you guys want to include Warframe, like I said, that's not an exclusive, mm -hmm. but, um, and if you want to include Planet Side 2, you, Warframe I, is a good game if you get into it, though. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, I, I don't really, I'm not, listen, I'm not knocking those who may care, care for it, but it's like I said, it's a free to play game. And, you know, I'm not really into it, you know what I mean? Now, getting back to those exclusive Sony that they had, they were talking about a lot of indie goddamn games. They were, you know, Microsoft spent one billion dollars on next generation games. That's three times more than what Sony and both Nintendo. You know what I mean? Now, now I will do this. Now, Sony said they do have some more schools with the show. Come, you know, Comic Con. I guess the Tokyo Game Show and Microsoft is the same thing. So right now, though, from what I know, from what I see, I don't know what the order is. I just seen a, a CGI trailers, and I know that's not coming out until 2014. But to me, the best looking show, game that Sony showed was Infamous Second Son. Now, that game I can't wait to play. I oh, it, yeah. But that doesn't come out in 2014. 14. So, so off the bat, I've got to give the nod to the Xbox One for us launch games, okay? My opinion. Now, I got some Sony dudes in here. You all heard their opinion. So the last yeah. podcast, 
Your last podcast, I got <laughs> accused of only having people that like the Xbox. I don't know what people like. I just bring them into the podcast and they can vote their opinion. I'm just, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm trying to get this. To, I wish I had some Nintendo dudes in here. But they scared to death of me. You know what I mean? I, I don't know why, for reason. They, they, they in denial. They in I, denial I, right they now. They somewhere, you know. Uh, but they ain't they, come out the closet yet, bro. Okay. Bro. <laughs> now, listen. This is going to be the last question before I wrap up the podcast. This is going to be the last question, all right? Mm, how should I do this? Now, uh, listen. I'm not going to try to piss anybody off. I want, I, want, I, want the, I want honest opinions, okay? No doubt. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> all right. Here we go. I got... I got I got a couple, but I, I'm, I'm going to try to wrap it up here. All right. I'm going to ask you guys this right here. All right? Who do you think has the better machine and the better product between PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Wii U? You know, what, I don't care what, whatever, and just state your, give your opinion. You know what I mean? Who do you think has a better machine, you know, for what we see now and what we know now? You know, I'm talking about as far as all around features. No, I take it. I got even better. Even one better. Between the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the Wii U, who do you think, what console do you think has a better um, better launch lineup? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Better features. I'm sorry. Better features. Who do you think has better features between the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Wii U. Start with Matt. Who do you think has the better features? All right. Um, in my in my case, I I gotta go with the whole PS4 because of the um, you see the the restrictions that the Xbox One have, and it's nothing to do like it's bad or anything. But oh, what restriction it is? It you know it's just like okay, in order for you to really use Xbox console, you all, you have to always be online because you're just gonna be getting a shit product if you're not online. Oh, no, it's not because like that. No. Mo- mo- yeah, no, no, no. What I mean is like he's talking about the cloud. Mo- yeah, no, 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 not the cloud either. Like okay, when you have the Xbox 360 right and you're offline, most of the features of that console is blocked. And if you don't have an Xbox Live account, most of the features are blocked. Now, in terms, if it has to be paid for the PS4, bro. I'm, I'm going to give it to the Xbox Live. But no, you can play Netflix and all of that. They confirm that you can do that without the PlayStation Plus. Oh, you mean without a premium online? Yeah, that's no. what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant you know, it, limits, it limits the system, though. You I know think Microsoft saying? changed that for they, they solar did. members on they, 360. Yeah, they, they did, bro. Yeah. yeah no, you if, they, if, they stuff change, if they change yeah. it, you know, then I'm going to give my, 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 my hey, opinion. Hey, Matt, hold, Matt, yeah. Matt, hey, Matt, you done went out the window. What the fuck Matt talking about right now? Hold on, Matt. <laughs> hey, we got another Max in the motherfucker, Matt. Hey, Matt, what the fuck you talking about? All right, so you said far as features, you're saying the places before got better features to you? No, no, I'm not saying it got better features. I'm just saying the restrictions hold back. We're talking the about the features more. Which is, no, no, wait, Matt, Matt, we're talking about the features of what the system can do. Okay, well, as I said, the Xbox One has better features. Okay, that's the question. Okay, that's the question right there. All right. We back. We got my man Matt back on the roof. All right. Uh, my man Yachty, Yachty Williams. Who do you think has better features? The Xbox One? We know. We don't need to weed you out of The Xbox One or the PlayStation 4? <laughs> who, who, who do you think has better features? Yachty? Oh, all right. Man. Well... Be honest, man. I'm trying to. I think I might have to give it to the PS4. Okay. I don't even. I don't even want to because I don't. I think I don't know the PS4 unless. But I. I got faith. I'm one of the people who got faith in Xbox actually up in the um GPU. No, then, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about power. I'm talking about features. I'm not. Oh, talking, I'm oh, talking features. about. I keep forgetting. All okay, right, yeah, I'm that's not true. talking oh. about. I'm talking about features. I'm not talking. You know, I'm not talking. Oh about yeah, power. features. Xbox then easy oh. because the cloud. Like, people don't get how innovative the cloud really is, though. Okay. Because that's right. why they wanted to make it always online, because they can make it to the point where they can literally streamline updates through the cloud is what they were trying to do. Yeah. Which means you can be in well, the middle still, of the game. They, they can still do that. You know what I mean? They can still do that. And, and they're still going to yeah, do that. Yeah, but not at a high, not as high as, high as the scale, but exactly. It's still better than PS4. Okay. PS4 they, came through a period. Okay, but so like, saying, like, this that cut you off? That right there, what you're saying, they, that's, that hasn't been taken away, okay. because... Um, you know, you only need a, a kilobyte uh, from your cell phone to, you know, to check in. But, you know, they took away the 24-hour check-in. But those updates and all that stuff is still going to be done behind the background and stuff on the cloud. That hasn't gone anywhere. That All that shit is still intact. 
Oh, so exactly, yeah. So Xbox easy because the cloud, for one, the cloud helps with the saving, obviously. Then it helps with the load times and everything. And then it helps with the way want, the game streams. And then the Xbox also has a second little, um, you know how they got the little extra Vita to go with the PS4? They also got the Windows. Oh, or the tablet. The X- smart glass. Oh, okay. All right. I got, I got the smart glass right here. I got the, I got the Windows yep. tablet right hey. here. I got the Windows <laughs> tablet right here in my hand. Right here in my hand. Okay. okay. I got the videos. All right. You already okay. know. Okay. So you gave it to the Xbox. John Doe, who do you think has the best features between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One? Well, from what I've seen, the only, you know, it, it got to be the Xbox. Okay, all right. Why Just, is that? The, 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 the whole television thing, you know, being able to pull up all of that, you know, okay, which speaking. Sony is trying to mimic, you know, but, you know, it's it, it just so much. See, the whole thing about the Xbox One, they were just showing off the features along with the game. You know, I yeah. haven't really seen many features for the PS4, to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? They haven't showed that many features other than I can download games while I'm playing the game. You know? yeah, yeah, but well, I can do that on Xbox, right? I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing yeah, you, can. you can do that on Xbox. You, you know, can. So. You can. And have uh, a friend take over the game. Okay. Mm, oh, you, the, you can do that on Xbox too, the over Skype. But, um, yeah. All right. Well, really? Okay, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, Peter. Yeah. Peter, Peter, the, the pussy eater. <laughs> who do you think? Who do you think has the best, better features? I'm not talking about GPU or CPU powder. I'm just talking about what share or what the console can do besides play games. Okay, I'm gonna give it to the Xbox One because it has the Illuminati NSA feature <laughs> to spy on. <laughs> like, hold up, man. Let me unplug my Xbox before I watch a porno. <laughs> All right. All joking aside. I think it's going to be really slick when you can say, "All right, stop playing that game Netflix on or okay. YouTube or doing that type of stuff. I can tell you it's a pain in the butt sometimes when you need to even shut down a game and go to the menu and find Netflix or those other things. All right. All right. Um, Yachty, did I ask you already? Oh yeah, you asked me though. Okay, Chuck, my man Chitty Chuck, your thoughts. Um, I, I like I like what Xbox is doing. Um, like I said, I think they understand that the gaming community you need more than games to, to sell a console. Games at the end of the day will be played on all systems, but you need features to separate you from your competitor. And I think with Skype, Twitch, it's stuff like they, they got so much going on, man, and. Even with the media, with like the NFL and the NBA and the whole TV thing, to me is excellent. I think it's a excellent idea, you know. And I think Microsoft, like you said, once they get the consoles out, I think people and people see it like on YouTube and see what you actually do with the console. All right. I think people is going to hop on it more than the PS4. Like I said, I like what the PS4 is doing, All right. but to me, they're not really doing nothing special. I mean, you know. A lot of stuff you could do, they're doing, you could do on both consoles. So they're not really separating themselves. I mean, they're happy now that they got cross game chat and all. And it's, you know, it's it's like they're playing catch up, you know. Oh, that's last year. That's what I'm saying. That's farther than last year. So you I'm going to go with the Xbox. Hey, you see their headphones? That's another system. You know what I'm saying? That was on 360 as well. All right. My point exactly. So okay. they kind of just playing catch up to me. And um and that's understandable. You know, they see what Xbox is doing, Xbox Live, and it's like we gotta step our game up. Uh-huh. Yeah, our, our system is free, but it's like it's kind of bare bone, and it's, it's, okay. it's, it was a pain for me for when I had PlayStation. The the constant yeah. downloads that took like thirty. Yeah. I'm like, what is this? Yeah. Xbox. Yeah. Xbox, yeah. Xbox, yeah. Xbox takes like ten seconds, man. I'm I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think that I'm roll with Xbox, you know, and then, you know, hopefully PS4 in the future can uh, upgrade their system. But right now, they're they're losing. They're, they're winning with the prize, but they're losing with the features. Okay. Right? All right. Phoenix, did you go? Phoenix? Phoenix, you there, Phoenix? I lost right. All right. I lost Phoenix. Are you there, Phoenix? I thought he was taking shit. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Here's my last but not least before I close this podcast out. As far as features... <laughs> Um, I, I can say I hate to make it sound biased. Now I'll, I'll say this: uh, a lot of the features that I'm sorry that Sony showed, um, they're not going to be ready at launch, which is cool. You know what I mean? But I, they, you know, 
I'm glad that they changed that 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 that, that, that X-Men, that bar. Did you call that shit? I'm glad they get rid of that shit. I'm glad that they, they put in a new, you know, a new, I guess, storefront, you know what I mean? It looks better. But, yeah. you know, again, you know, they're still using the same, like, to me, their voice chat, sweat chat quality on the goddamn PlayStation 3 is horrible. But they, you know what I mean? And they, they, they're not even changing that. The same Bluetooth, I think, 2.1 or... 3.0, they're not even yeah. changing that, you know what I mean? And the Xbox is using Wi-Fi Direct. And it's a big, that's a major feature that no one is even talking about. Yo, you can do so much with Wi-Fi Direct. Like, this is even one feature that that shit can handle, I think it's over 256 packets of data. I think Bluetooth, Bluetooth put 3.0 is like two, three, uh, 15 or something packets of data. So basically, just one feature, the voice chat quality on the Xbox One is going to be better than the goddamn landline telephone, you know what I mean? You can even with Wi-Fi direct, bro. If you want, you can hook your goddamn cell phone up to that shit. You know what I mean? All the ones you can probably answer your goddamn cell phone through your Xbox. You can do a lot of shit with that system. Even when you're watching the NFL games, this exclusive to the Xbox, that we're gonna be right there in the huddle with the coaches drawing plays. We can see all that shit on our smart glass. Like to me, like I said, I'm all about features. It's like I said, I can sit back and say Netflix, TV, 2K14. That, 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 um, that to me, I like that I'm all about this. Like, once again, I got to get my hands, hands off, like I said, the Xbox for its feature. Now, when it comes to power, that'll be, we're going to talk about power, and, you know, we're going to talk about that at the next, you know, at the next uh, podcast, and um, not to be biased. I hate to say, like, I'm always picking, like, I'm so pro Xbox, but I had to show people my receipt that, listen here, I'm a gamer before anything. I'm a, I'm a fanboy second in the Game Boy, you know, in, in the gamer first, you know what I mean? You know, like I say, poor mm-hmm. motherfuckers sit argue over. Console, like I said, I never said I'm from the hood, dog, and you know what I mean. I've always, and I'm not talking about what I used to do. But like I said, I've always, I've always been a multi-console owner. If Nintendo had something hot, I was there. If Sega had something hot, I was there. You know, I don't have to wait till somebody drops something. I always got something to play. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this podcast up. It's been a great pleasure. I'm glad and thank you guys for coming on the show. Um, Peter, everybody, give it. You know, they can say bye and they go down the road. All right, Peter, good. All right, man. Nice talking to everybody. I'm going to subscribe to these other channels. I got, well, OMG, yeah, I'll subscribe to you. Okay. John Doe, get the outro, whatever. Xbox Strong, baby. Oh, That's man. Cool. All right. <laughs> hey, Chitty Chuck, they don't give a fuck. Man, hey, hey, I hey. feel sorry for me, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm stuck in the middle on what I want to do, man. All Ooh. right. Hey, Chitty Chuck, get your outro. Yeah, man, it's a Chuck, man. It was nice talking to you all again. Hey, Zaire, I'm always down. Just hit me up. Hey, you know? man, whatever. Hey, I, ain't scared, I ain't scared like a lot of the dudes, man. All you know right. Just say that. Hey, listen, I'm calling, I'm calling you guys out from um, Next Gen Gamers, man. I'm calling you guys out. You know, you guys said you went into the podcast. I'm trying to get a different, you know, a variety of people in this podcast. They can't say I'm always picking people that pro act, pro Xbox. And I got, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Phoenix, he's a PlayStation dude. Um, I think Peter's a more of a place you can do. I'm trying to get a mixture of people in here. Okay. Um, oh, can I say one no. thing? Yeah, say whatever you want to say, bro. Yeah. If Richard or you check USA, if you listen to this, I own your motherfucking subreddit. Oh, man. Oh, man. God damn it. Plus, Zoll. Uh, Phoenix, <laughs> man. Phoenix, hey, Phoenix, man. Get your outro, man. Oh, shit, man. It's your boy, Phoenix Rain, man. Hit me up on YouTube if you want a variety of gameplay instead of Call of Duty Fat Boy 3, like oh, you see man. on most channels. Oh, shit, man. This guy just went for the throat. Uh, my man, Matt, did you sign out already, Matt? Nah, nah. Yeah, I just got something to say to these Nintendo dudes. Oh, shit. Uh, stop <laughs> stop defending your console and stop saying that you only care about games because what breaks breaks it down and differentiate a console the consoles is features and right now the Wii U has none except oh, that uh that Mario tail that was rendered in real time oh, shit. <laughs> hey, on, you know man. what I'm saying Mario like when I run out of toilet paper I can use my Wii as toilet paper oh, exactly man right. right. it's white oh, anyway uh-huh. It's your boy Matt and Ted. Just sharing my view. This message been approved, man. All right, Yachty, did you get the sign out already, Yachty? Okay, Yachty out. Multi console owner, but I don't play the Wii because I'm not gay. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> 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 okay. PS3, direct games, Xbox, the social experience, man. Is that easy, dog? All right, man. Last but not least, your boy Next Gen 720. And as I always say, I'm about to pop Thank me an oxy to dick bill. Bang, bang. Matt was a fucking stalker. <laughs> hey, when that boy Matt stuck his dick in the Xbox and set that bitch on fire. <laughs> <laughs>